Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be going over a new camcorder holder. There we go. It's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to be going over the Berries and Cream by Dominique Cosmetics. This retails for $44 and I got one of her liquid matte lipsticks. And this retails for I believe it was $18 but... I ordered it like during Black Friday and it has some kind of deal. I don't remember what it was, but she has another shade. I only bought one. The other shade is really, really dark. Um, so I bought the one that was more neutral and creamy pink. This is the carton and this is an actual lipstick. Um, I have swatched the berries and cream. I love this whole look like the gradient from dark to light it's just beautiful it does have your usual sleeve that it fits in like perfectly and I like it because it's really sleek you can keep the sleeve and it doesn't take up like extra room um so this is I'm trying to look for the 12 times 14 grams so Yes, I'm counting. You get 12, just making sure, um, shades in here. And you get a good mixture. So I was kind of hesitant on buying this one because the Lemonade palette, which I have right here, um, was kind of like in the beginning, it was a problem child. But the Latte one, which I also have, was just this is like her first palette and it is stunning um this screams fall colors to me even into winter um i'm gonna keep this out and use it because i love these colors i feel i can get like a lot of neutral looks out of this when i go to work um yes i am still working at disneyland i have super late hours some of them aren't till two I don't get home and get in bed until three. So if you don't see me for a while, I am recuperating, working, or just exhausted. Um, so her second palette, the Lemonade palette, um, I ordered right away because the Latte palette was so phenomenal. Um, I got it. I did a full review. If you go back and you watch um, these shades here at the top, especially these two were like wax paper. Um, you could not get these to work for shit. They were just, they were horrible. Now, and this shade as well. And this shade as well. Most of the shimmer shades were really, really bad. So I found out that um, it was a bad whole batch. She had to um, send out new palettes everybody which I highly appreciate I was I mean at least she admitted there was a mistake and we all got new palettes and I do like my lemonade palette now but it made me kind of wait on the berries and cream plus I was waiting for it to go to Sephora but I got impatient and I ordered it again so the packaging is so beautiful. It is the same. It is actually longer than these. Um, does it have the same amount of shades? Oh, the Lemonade palette has 10. I, I didn't know this. And the uh, Latte palette only has 10 shades. So this Berries and Cream palette has 12. And I think she upped the price by a couple of dollars. I think the other ones in the previous for 42 if I remember right and this is 44 for the berries and cream which is not a bad deal if you're getting two more shades um so anyways you get a good size mirror um I do have a sleeve in there it's kind of messy because I used it and here are the colors that blue oh and this color here so here are the swatches trying to get it so the top row running into some of the bottom row and here's the bottom row the swatches look horrible okay so this has one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to say eight mats and one, two, I'd say four shimmers in here. And I used almost every single one of them because I wanted to be able to give you like my full opinion on this palette. Um, this color here, I love the way she puts the names. They're so legible and stand out. Um, Warm Pie. This color right here is like... Um, Oh God, I'm looking for the word and I can't find it. Anyways, it's like a reddish brown with a gold shimmer. If you can see the gold shimmer, it is stunning. It is uh, got to be one of my favorite colors in the palette. And then this one, Sugar Cookie, um, I am wearing on the inner corner of my eye. It is super just pigmented. It's gorgeous. Um, I am wearing Warm Pie as well, this one right here. Um, up in the crease area, I just try to wear as many shades as possible. So the blue one right here is um, Blueberry Muffin. This one is a little bit patchy. So when you go to blend it, well, when I went to blend it, it kind of like wears off and goes to almost nothing and gets messy and so I just kind of you know placed it in the outer corner of my eye um I didn't want to blend it out too much because it would blend away to nothing um so it is a very patchy color as for the black I use that under my eye and I used it for an eyeliner. That went on fine. But again, I didn't use it in a large area to see if it would be patchy. Because it seems the same as the blue the way that it applied. So um, I will have to update on how that one wears. It just looks like it would blend away to nothing. And all I did was kind of pop it underneath my eye. And then above it but these shimmer shades like cranberry sugar cookie honey dipped all these are absolutely phenomenal and then these matte shades in the first row are really really good uh, chocolate mousse um, toasted all these up here this is a really really pretty purple or lavender bittersweet I love the names too um, are really good so overall i am very happy with this palette um only a couple of the shades are a little bit on the patchier side but i still would recommend this palette i think um she kind of she went back to the formula of the latte palette and i'm really really glad because i was really worried about it um just have to work a little bit more with this blueberry muffin and um blackberry but i have to say i really really like this palette and i would recommend it um uh, it's a gorgeous palette and the colors are perfect for the season now on the other hand the lipstick um when i ordered they offered a uh, free lip gloss which i have like four lip glosses from her i ordered the whole bundle from the lemonade palette I have like three of them I haven't even opened so I got another free one and peach tea I'm going to show you the color this is going in the giveaway by the way uh, this is a beautiful color I do like the glosses they just don't pack a punch of color that I can say that they are worth buying they're that standout-ish so you know just my opinion so i got one matte liquid lipstick and it is in the color creamy pink uh, i am wearing it it feels a little drying and a, just a little bit tacky just a little bit it's definitely dried down by now because i've been wearing it for a while i love the color first of all the color is beautiful it's kind of like a raspberry burgundy shade. I love this applicator because it gives you um, 
the tip right here so you don't have to use a liner which is great it's just a tiny bit tacky but not to the point where i won't wear it just kind of irritating where i want to take it off i don't know i'm kind of mixed on this i won't be ordering any more she only has one more shave anyways um in my giveaway if you watch the video this far who would like to see this for one of my eight days a giveaway that is going to be starting um uh, well it's running now but it was, i'm gonna officially start the giveaway uh, december 24th so hopefully you guys are watching my videos let me know what you think about seeing the nyx swear by it palette in that upcoming giveaway anyways so i'm not really impressed with the lip stick the lip gloss will be in somebody's stocking i absolutely love her palette it's gorgeous uh, this oh i'm so in love with this packaging and the colors it's simple but beautiful so anyways that is my thoughts on this beautiful berries and cream palette i think dominique cosmetics did a phenomenal job i'm very very happy that i bought that anyways so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys very soon um some of these are pre-recorded so if you see something and I've already said it or done it or what have you. I'm wearing the same shirt because I, I'm trying to pre-record because of work and Christmas. Very busy. So anyways, have a wonderful day.